Hi friends, today I will be solving maths May June 2019 paper 42. Question 1 part A states the price of newspaper increased from $0.97 to $1.13. Calculate the percentage increase. So we have to calculate the percentage increase of price from $0.97 to $1.13. So first we will calculate the difference which is 1.13 minus 0.97 which will be $0.16. Then we will divide 0.16 by 97 which is the original value of the newspaper and multiply it by to calculate the percentage increase which will be 16.5 percent so we will write this as our final answer question 1b states one day the newspaper has 60 pages of news and advertisements the ratio number of pages of news to the ratio of number of pages of advertisements is equal to 5 to the ratio of 7. So we in part I it states calculate the number of pages of advertisements. So first we will take the number of pages of advertisements ratio which is 7 divided by total number of ratio which will be 5 plus 7. So we will write 7 divided by 5 plus 7 multiply by the total number of pages which is 60 pages and then we will have 35 pages of advertisements pages of advertisements in the newspaper Question B part I states write the number of pages of advertisements as a percentage of the number of pages of news. So the number of pages of advertisement is 35. So we will subtract 35 from the total number of pages which is 60. So 60 minus 35 which is 25 pages. Then the question states write the number of pages of advertisement as a percentage of the pages of news so first we will write the number of pages of advertisements which is 35 divided by number of pages of news which is 25 multiply by 100 which will be 140 percent of number of advertisements as a percentage of number of pages of news so you write 140 percent question one part c states on holiday maria paid 2.25 euros for the newspaper when the exchange rate was one dollar is equal to 0.9416 euros at home maria paid 1.13 dollars for the newspaper calculate the difference in price Give your answer in dollars correct to nearest cent. So the exchange rate is one dollar is equal to 0.9416 euros. And then we have to calculate the conversion rate of 2.25 euros into dollars. So we don't know the value, so we'll mark it as x is equal to 2.25. Where we multiply using the formula which is x is equal to 2.25 multiplied by 1 divided by 0 0.9416 this will be 2.389 dollars but we have to use but we have to convert this round it off into standard uh, into two three significant figures which will be 2.3 three nine dollars then we will subtract this from we will subtract one point one three dollars from this value which will be one point one three which will be one point two six dollars so one point two six dollars is the difference in 
the price of newspaper in euros and as compared to in dollars so we'll write 1.26 dollars question 1 part e states every page of the newspaper is a rectangle measuring 43 centimeter by 28 centimeter both correct to nearest centimeter calculate the upper bond of the area of the page so in upper bond we add 0 0.5 centimeter to each length so for example the length is 43 centimeters so we will add 0 0.5 centimeter which will be 43.5 centimeter and for the width which is 28 centimeter we will add 28 plus 0 0.5 which will be 28.5 centimeter then to calculate the upper bond of the area, we multiply both the upper bond values, which is 43.5, multiply by 28.5, which will be 1239.75 cm square. So the area of the page using the upper bond will be. 1239.75 cm squared and this will be our final answer question 2a states ac is a parallel to fbd abc is an isosceles triangle and cbe is a straight line find the value of x so we have the value of C A B which is 26 and this triangle is isosceles so this angle and this angle will be same so we'll first calculate the value of these both angles by using 180 minus 26 which will be 154 divided by 2 which will be 77 degrees so A C B is 77 degrees so we will then calculate this angle by using 180 minus 77 which will be 103 as these this angle and this angle is same as it is parallel so the value of dbe or the value of angle x is 103 degrees so we will write this as our final answer Question 2 part B states the diagram shows a circle with diameter PQ as PT is a tangent to the circle at P. Find the value of Y. So ST is tangent at point P and point and the line PQ is passing through the circle through the center of the circle. So this will be diameter. So as first we will calculate the angle of P which will be 90 minus 58 because any point any line that is passing through the tangent and through the center of the circle will be 90 degrees so TPQ is 90 degrees right angle line so we will subtract 58 from 90 which will be 32 degrees so the angle of P is 32 degrees and then as we have 32 degrees for angle P and any point inside the triangle inside the circle that is meeting so this will also be 90 degrees so we will write 90 degrees plus 32 32 minus 180 which will be again 58 degrees so the angle of PQ and this edge of the circle will be 58 degrees and then as you keep this point and this point and then when you keep this point P and this point constant and move point Q from here to here then this angle will also be 58 degrees so then you will 
calculate the angle of P to the intersection and this which will be 58 plus 17 minus 180 which will be 105 degrees then we will subtract 180 from 105 degrees so this will be 75 degrees so the value of y will be 75 degrees and this will be our final answer question 3 part is states write down in terms of all the probability that Andrea does not cycle to school so the probability that Andrea cycles to school is R so the probability that she doesn't cycle to school will be 1 minus R so we will write this as our final answer 1 minus R question 3 part B states the probability that B noid does not cycle to school is 1.3 minus R the probability that both and and re and benoid do not cycle to school is 0.4 complete equation in terms of r so we will write 1.3 minus r 1.3 minus r multiplied by 1 minus r question 3b part ii states show that this equation simplifies to 10 r square minus 23 r plus 9 is equal to 0 so we have to simplify 1.3 minus r multiplied by 1 minus r is equal to 0 0.4 into this equation so first we will expand this equation which is 1.3 minus r right it's close multiply by 1 minus r is equal to 0 0.4 so we will multiply 1.3 by 1 and then by r then we multiply minus r by 1 and by minus r which will be 13 1.3 minus 1.3 r minus r plus r square is equal to 0 0.4 then we will move 0 0.4 to the left side by writing 1.3 minus 1.3 r minus r plus r square minus 0 0.4 this will be 1.3 minus 0 0.4 which will be 0 0.9 minus 2.3 r plus r squared is equal to 10 so this means that we cannot simplify this 1.3 minus r multiplied by 1 minus r is equal to 0 0.4 into this equation as you can see we have 0 0.9 minus 2.3 r plus r squared is equal to 0 part 3 states solve by factorization 10 r squared minus 23 r plus 9 is equal to 0 so we'll use the formula which is x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so we will use we will implement this formula on this equation by using 10 as a 20 minus 23 as b and plus 9 as c then we will put these numbers into the formula by writing r is equal to minus minus 23 we will use in first equation we will use plus and in second equation we will use minus so in first equation we will use plus by writing plus square root minus 23 square minus 4 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 9 divided by 
2 multiplied by 10. So the value of r will be 9 over 5. And then for the second equation in which we will be using minus square root instead of plus square root. So this will be r is equal to minus minus 23 plus minus 23 square minus 4 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 9 divided by 2 multiplied by 10 which will be in this we will be using negative sorry so this will be 1 over 2 so the value of r will be either 9 over 5 or 1 over 2 Question 4 states find the probability that Pinoid does not cycle to school. So the probability that Pinoid cycles to school is 1.3 and then we have to subtract the value of R that we calculated in the last question to calculate the probability that Pinoid will not cycle to school. So if we use 9 or 5 which is 1.8 we will get the value in negative so we don't need the value in negative or else the probability will not be correct. So we will use 1 over 2 as value of r and subtract 0 0.5 instead of 1 over 2 from 1.3 which will be 0 0.8. So the probability that Pinoid does not cycle to school will be 0 0.8 and we will write 0 0.8 as our final answer. Question 4a states the equation of the straight line is 2y is equal to 3x plus 4. Find the gradient of this line. So, to calculate the equation of this straight line is 2y is equal to 3x plus 4, but it should be y is equal to 3x divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2, which will be 1.5x plus 2. So, 1.5x will be the gradient. So, we'll write 1.5 as our final answer. Question 4 part A part 2 states find the coordinates of the point where the line crosses the y axis. So if the line crosses the y axis at which the x axis will be 0, so we'll use 0 as our x axis and write 1.5 multiplied by 0 plus 2 which will be 2. So the coordinates for x axis will be 0 and, for, and the coordinates for y axis will be 2. Question for part B states the diagram shows a straight line L. So the part I states find the opposite uh, equation of line L. So first the formula of the equation of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. So in this case if we use 0 as our x axis and y as our 6 as our y axis we will write 6 is equal to m multiplied by 0 plus c so any gradient that is multiplied that is being multiplied by 0 will be 0 so c will be 6 so if we use y is equal to m x plus 6 and if we use this point which is 1 to 4 as our equation we will write y as 4 is equal to m multiplied by 1 plus 6 so this will be m is equal to 4 minus 6 which will be minus 2 so the equation of line l will be y is equal to minus 2 which we calculated over here x plus 6 Question 4 part B part 2 states find the equation of the line perpendicular to the line L that passes through 9 3. So the gradient of a perpendicular line will be minus 1 divided by the gradient of the first equation which will be minus 1 divided by minus 2. So this will be 0 0.5. So the gradient of the perpendicular line will be 0 0.5 then to calculate this equation 
of the line which is y is equal to mx plus c so we have the gradient and we will use the point which is 9 3 as our x and y axis so we'll write 3 is equal to 0 0.5 multiply by 9 plus c which will be 3 is equal to 4.5 plus c so the value of c will be 3 minus 4.5 which will be minus 1.5 so the equation of the line perpendicular to the line l will be y is equal to 0 0.5 x minus 1.5 so we'll, so this will be our final answer question 4 part c states a is the point 8 5 and b is the point minus 4 1 calculate the length of a b so we'll use the Pythagoras theorem which is a is equal to b square plus c square divided by to the square root so this will be we will use b squared as x1 minus x2 to the square root plus y1 plus minus y2 to the square root. So x1 will be 8 minus minus 4 to the square root plus 5 minus 1 to the square root to the square and to the square root so this will be 12.6 and we will write 12.6 as our final answer question 4 part bc part 2 states find the coordinates of the midpoint of a b so first we will calculate the midpoint on y on x axis which will be x is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 which will be 8 plus minus 4 divided by 2 and this will be minus plus 4 divided by 2 and the value of x is x axis will be plus 2 and then for the y axis it will be y is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and then this will be 5 plus 1 divided by 2 which will be 6 divided by 2 and then the value of y axis will be 3 so the coordinate of the midpoint of AB will be 2 on the x axis and 3 on the y axis question 5 part A states complete the table so we will use this formula and use 0.2 1 and 2 as our x axis values and we will calculate the value of y axis by using the calculator so for 0 0.2 on x axis it will be 2.45 on y axis then when using 1 as our x axis it will be 0 0.25 and then for 2 as our x axis we will, the value of y axis will be minus 0.25 Question 5 part B states on the grid draw the graph of y is equal to 1 divided by 2x less minus x divided by 4 for my 0 0.15 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3.5 the last two points have been plotted for you so we will use the above table and mark these points on the graph and this will be the line that will be shown on the graph using the points so this will be the final graph question c states use a graph to solve the equation 1 over 2x minus x divided by 4 is equal to 1 over 2 so the value of y is 1 over 2 so we'll draw a line from 0.5 to the line that we have already drawn and then extend it down which will which will show that the value of y x axis will be 0 0.7 so using the graph the equation equation of x axis is 0 
पॉइंट सेवन पार्ट डी आई स्टेट ऑन द ग्रेड ड्रॉ द लाइन वाई इज इक्वल टू टू माइनस एक्स सो वी विल ड्रॉ अ लाइन ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस एक्स ऑन द ग्राफ बाई यूजिंग बाई शोइंग लाइक दिस and this will be our final graph question 5 part d part 2 states write on the x coordinates of the point where the line y is equal to 2 minus x crosses the graph of y is equal to 1 over 2x minus x divided by 4 so we have to find out the value of x axis at which both lines intersect so one point the first point will be this point and the second point will be this so the value of x axis on this point is 0.35 0.35 and for the next po second point it is 2.4 2.4 so 2.4 and 0.35 are the x coordinates at which the both lines intersect question 6 part is state expand and simplify x plus 7 in brackets multiply by x minus 3 in brackets so first you will multiply x by x and then x by minus 3 then you will multiply 7 by x and then by minus 3 so this will be x square Minus three x plus seven x minus twenty one, which will be minus three x plus seven x will be plus four x minus twenty one and plus x two. So the simplification of this equation will be x square plus four x minus twenty one. and we will write this as our final answer question 6 part b states that crisis completely part 2 1 15 q square q square minus 25 q cube so 15 and 25 are multiples of 5 so we will extract 5 And then p square and q square in p square and q square q square is common in both, so we'll also exclude q square, and then write p five q square multiplied by three p square minus five q. So the factorization of fifteen p square minus p square q square minus twenty five. Q cube will be five five Q square brackets open three P square minus five Q. Question six part B part two states four F G plus six G H plus ten F K plus fifteen H K. So in first two numbers. Four and six are multiples of two, so we'll exclude two. And in both letters, G is common, so we will also exclude G. And write two G brackets open. Two F plus three H brackets closed. In last two numbers, ten and fifteen are multiples of five, so we'll exclude five. And then in both letters we have k as as common, so we'll ex also exclude k and write five k multiply by two f plus three h. So two two f plus three h is the same as in other factorization. So we will make this part and this part the same. And write it in single form, which is two f plus three h, and then we will multiply this by two g plus five k because these are both different numbers, and we will combine them together, and we will write two g plus five k multiplied by 
2f plus 3h so the factorization of 4fg plus 6gh plus 10fk plus 15hk will be brackets open 2g plus 5k brackets closed multiply by 2f plus 3h Question 6 part B part 3 states 81 k square minus m square. So the square root of 81 is 9 so we will write 9 and the square root of k will be k. So we will write 9k minus m because if we multiply 9k minus m with any other equation we will not take, we will not get the value of 81 k square minus m square so we will multiply the same equation which is 9k minus m multiplied by 9k minus m but in this equation we have to only we have to only get two values which is 81k square and minus m square so we will use instead of using minus m we will write plus m and in other in the second equation we will write minus m so where we multiply minus plus m multiply by 9k which will be 9km and then in the second equation where we multiply 9k multiply by minus m which will be minus 9km so these both values will be cancelled out so we will not have any value of km so we'll get only 81k square and minus m2 squared so the factorization of 81k square minus m square will be 9k plus m brackets closed multiply by 9k minus m brackets closed. Question 6 part C states solve the equation which is 3 brackets open x minus 4 brackets closed plus x plus 2 divided by 5 is equal to 6. So first we will expand this equation by writing 3x minus 12 plus x square x plus 2 divided by 5 is equal to 6 then we will multiply 3x we will divide 3x minus 12 by 1 and we will multiply this by 5 to be equal to the fraction which is x plus 2 divided by 5 by multiplying 5 here and 5 over here which will be 15x minus 12 15x minus 60 divided by 5 plus x plus 2 divided by 5 is equal to 6 then we will write we will expand this fraction by writing 15x minus 60 plus x plus 2 divided by 5 is equal to 6 then we will add this uh, fraction by writing 16x minus 58 divided by 5 is equal to 6 so this will be 16x minus 58 is equal to 5 multiplied by 6 which will be 30 then we will move minus 58 over there which will be 16x is equal to 30 plus 58 it will be 88 16x so the value of x will be 5.5 so 5.5 will be the value of x